Hey everybody, at BV Matson here, Farm Fresh. <laughs> there it is, 1965 CB77 Super Hawk. And I tell ya, there ain't no holes in this muffler all the way underneath. That's a huge win. And get this, this one is gonna be a lot easier than the first one, because this one's turning over. Turning over, absolutely beautiful. Gauge in good shape, 14,028 miles on this one. It's got kind of that big hanger bars on it, which I'm not super crazy about. But take a look, rims are in good shape. This one was originally black. I have not touched this at all. I literally just rolled it into the garage. So that is what we picked up on this. But having the engine free, major win on this one. Also came with a big box of parts. Let's dive into those. This one did come with a set of tires. They don't look dry rotted. I think he said they were about 10 years old though. So we'll check the codes on them, but maybe they're good. We'll have to see. Nice original, I love that tread on that. Good original one. So set of tires, we'll see if those are usable or not. But then we also got, you probably noticed carbs were gone. Carburetors are here. And he said he was having pinholes in the foot bowls. So have to address some of that. So either way, got another set of carbs to work with, but good to see both of them are here. Got some extra parts. For all of that, I haven't even dig, dug into these. I don't know what's in there, so let's dig in. All right, got a spring for kickstand. What else? Ooh, we got a side stand on this one. I wonder if the bracket is in here. If the bracket for the side stand is in here, that is a huge, huge win. Looks like we've got some new air filters down here. We got a wasp's nest. Wasp's nest hanging out there. Man, it'd be sweet if the bracket was in there. I don't, I don't see a bracket in here, just a bunch of pack, but new set of air filters. These look new, unused. I'll just open them up, make sure. Oh, uh, they're a little dirty. <laughs> everything's covered in cobwebs. Now, some of the other details in the box. Got pretty much everything we need. There's the chrome cover for the tank. Look at that, just like that. Bam, we've got that and the badge is on it. Somebody is smart and they actually put that 10 millimeter bolt back in the tank, so that's good. So we got the left side and we've got the right side. And these actually don't look too bad. These are gonna clean up really, really good. And check this out, we also do have both of the rubber knee pads available for this one. There's an inner tube for the tires, old, crusty <laughs> tubes gonna have to get new intake tubes for sure on this one yeah these are garbage garbage but we also do have both of the side covers here as well got one mirror wrong mirror for this style bike should be a square one and there's that spring got an extra tail light and a petcock so here's the petcock apparently for this one right there, perfect. So those are the extra parts that I got on it. Some other little details. That rear lens is in place and in really good shape. It is missing the little mud flap on the back. So I'll be ordering another one of those. Seat has seen better days, but we've recovered seats and we know how that all goes. Other than that, the pan is gonna clean up just fine on this. There we go. Everything's looking like it is there. Tank's in good shape. Only downside on the tank is that it does have a liner. Somebody lined it. We can get down here. This all looks really, really familiar at this point. This one helped me solve that throttle cable issue on the 65 over there. And mostly I'm just happy that this one is actually free. Headlight bucket in place. This chrome is actually in better shape than the other bike, for sure. The other one's all gouged up. But yeah, it is all there. Everything looks really, really, really familiar on this bike. So this one will make its way, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of torn on this one. What should I do? 
Yeah, like part of me wants to just drain the oil on it, get a battery on it, and get a set of carbs on it. Because you can see, luckily, the guy I picked this up from stuffed all this stuff uh, with paper towels. So I was able to pull that all out. Nothing got inside of there once those carbs were off. I was a little nervous when I uh, was looking at the pictures of the listing on Marketplace. And I was like, oh, God, carbs are off. <laughs> Gonna need her engine rebuild, but this one looks really good. So this one's actually a pretty good candidate to maybe just try and fire it up and see if we can get her to get her to do something. Fresh battery, quick wash on the tank. I've got a reset uh, set of carbs, or rebuilt set of carbs already on this bad boy. So yeah, kind of think it'd be a fun little project just to see if we can get it running. But there's the gist, there it is right there. 1965 CB77 Super Hawk. So here's this one, and here's the one we're just finishing up now. So a little bit of inspiration, all right? We wanna take this and turn it into something like that. I haven't decided on a color or anything yet, but ooh, if I can get that, that'll be freaking sweet. All right, everybody, <laughs> welcome to the new Super Hawk to the Keep On Wrenching Garage. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy the videos, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want a free sticker, head on over to keeponwrenching.com. And don't forget to find us on Facebook, the Keep On Wrenching Community Group on Facebook. All right, this one's heading into the queue. Let's see what happens. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video or live stream.